Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all doing okay. Welcome back to Serlem Ultimate. This episode we are going to take down Ramses, but once again I'm going to go to a specific realm because there is something I want to try out. I'm going to go to Titan's Wound. There's a spell I need to buy from Mortem. So let's just go straight in. Ooh, I should have checked. Do we have our projects running? Yes, we do. And luckily, Mortem is right here, so let's make our donation. Uh, let's go to our shop. There's a spell I need to buy. Flesh Offering. Very important spell. Target loses a large amount of maximum health, and your creatures gain that amount. What else is there? Hmm, I wonder if she's got a spell for all of these stats. So I will also buy Bone Offering. Uh, spirit Offering. And I, I'm not seeing any other inscriptions. So maybe they'll be unlocked later on. Yeah, yeah we're, we're gonna have to buy a whole lot of things because we've got to unlock their uh, the god spawn creatures as well but that's something to worry about later for now uh, let's uh, deal with these guys uh, what are we dealing with in this realm honestly it's not even that bad uh, we can just do uh, we can just do this I think Excuse me, do they have Resurrect on that? They do, alright. That is going to be a bit of a downer. But I think we should be fine. Take that, pile of resources. I think one of the worst outcomes that you can get from the uh, Pandemonium Shrines is the, uh, the pile of resources. Just because, like, when you've got millions of resources and you're only getting a few thousand, it's almost like getting nothing. The reason why I say it's the second worst outcome is because there is an outcome where you get literally nothing. But even if you get literally nothing, at least you get credit for... What the fuck are you doing? At least you get credit for finding the Pandemonium Shrine for the purposes of your uh, prophecies, if you have a prophecy running for that. Come on. There we go. We should be able to open this big chest. Hey, look at that. Another garbage nether stone. Thanks for that, I guess. Yeah, let's open up all of these uh, random encounters. These enemies are also annoying to fight because sometimes they're, they're gonna have... Dude, what are you... Killed. What? what the fuck are you guys doing? What is going on? Like, but, uh, do they don't have extra traits, so it's just. Like, what is... What? Why did that happen? Steals one... I don't understand what happened. I don't understand why this fight was being so... <laughs> Awful. Hopefully this one isn't that bad. Yeah, what? Yeah, what? Why are they... Like, what is, what is this that's going on right now? What is this nonsense? Who is responsible for this garbage? But attack seven times, but why are... 
And, and end of turn attack, but why are they getting these attacks? Where are they getting these attacks from? God, such a... Such nonsense. Hopefully the boss fight isn't like that. That's just... Okay, we're fighting more of these insane enemies. They are resurrected with 100% health. Well, we stole the rebirth from them, so... Sucks to be them, I guess. But no doubt they're gonna do some nonsense. No doubt they're gonna do some nonsense. Okay, so we killed the two of them. The rest of them should die straight away. They're gonna come back. Having come back, are they gonna do something? Yeah, what? What do you do? What is this nonsense? Oh my god. It's like I mentioned uh, last episode, I think. The most annoying things in this game aren't even the ones that kill you, it's, it's the things that waste your time. Oh, one of the rare, although I will say this is one of the rare instances where Desperate Bed actually did accomplish something for the enemy. Like, one of their party members was dead and it did resurrect the rest of them. So, well done for that, I guess. Now let's keep going. What a fucking nightmare. Five more enemies, and of course our nether boss. You're gonna come back. Are you gonna also start casting a bunch of garbage? No, you're not, so... Was it just a, a thing about with the like Osane enemies? Yeah, their corpse explosions are a lot less uh, deadly now that we uh, have Shimmer and the uh, the damage reduction from that. Okay, let me just kill these guys off. Open up that chest. Insane enemies were just a bunch of trash, weren't they? Like, is, is there something in this realm that I'm missing that was causing them to do, to do that, or or are the enemies just like that by default? Hopefully, these guys are a bit less annoying. They die, they come back. The corpse explosions are doing nothing as usual. And they die. Yes, it was just the Osane enemies. I mean, admittedly, I skimmed through their... Uh, uh, the descriptions of their uh, traits pretty quickly. But still... Uh, where's the haunted gold? There it is. But still, like... I didn't see anything that would have uh, explained the sheer amount of nonsense we were going through. Okay, so the resurrect on death that they get from the realm doesn't stack with the one that they already have. So when they die, one of them came back as a dumpling. Are we gonna get credit for killing a dumpling? Probably not. Well, no, we got dumpling level experience. That, actually, that might be, that might be bad. That might mean that the game isn't considering us as killing nightmare golems and is instead considering us as killing whatever they respawn as. And if that's the case, then we might never find their card. But, uh, but like I said, the definitive conclusion will be the moment we find any sort of card from this fight, from killing these guys. 
Because I'm hoping that whatever else might be happening, that cards should still be able to drop. You know what, just to be on the... Hmm. Just to be on the safe side, maybe I'll start farming the other golems before we do uh, the nightmare golem, the haunted golem rather. Hmm. I don't know. We'll spend a few episodes on these guys. We'll farm them also when it's card week again. I really want to get to the bottom of this. Are we getting credit for killing Nightmare Golems? Or are we getting credit for just killing whatever they spawn as? And if there's some weird, like, genuine race uh, swap going on, like, our card drops still a possibility from this fight. Come on. Let's keep things moving. Yeah, that dumpling thing really has thrown me off quite a bit. Because if we'd gotten a small amount of experience, I would, I would have been like, okay, yeah, we're not getting credit for killing a dumpling. But evidently, the game did, at least in terms of the experience it gave us, gave us the amount of experience we would have gotten for killing a dumpling. And w one thing I should do though, let me go to my bestiary. I think this is gonna be what settles it once and for all. Let's find the dumpling, and let's see what our status is on it. 93. Alright. Let's continue farming treasure golems until they offer us another dumpling. And then we'll see whether it increases our dumpling kill counter by one or not. And if it does, then the very strong suspicion will be that we're not getting credit for killing uh, haunted golems. Now there are ways to find cards for creatures that don't involve you killing them. So it won't be impossible to find their card, it'll just mean that it'll be very luck based. You'll have to depend on finding it from random loot. I guess there's... Hmm. I was gonna say, I guess there's an easier way, but no. We're not... When we're fighting these... Uh, when we were fighting treasure golems, we were getting knowledge for... Uh, sorry, not these treasure golems, these uh, haunted golems. We were getting knowledge for the uh, haunted golem and not for the random creatures that it was spawning. That's why we are S rank right now with uh, the haunted golem and not with a bunch of other random creatures. So it is giving us not like the knowledge is working correctly. The question is, and it's still listing them in the enemy list in combat as haunted golems question is, at the final stage, when they're killed, when they're, you know, when their second form is killed, are they then still considered haunted golems at that stage, or have they been completely transformed into whatever enemy they are turned into? Yes, I know... This is absurdly complicated, but this is an absurdly complicated game. Let's talk to Ramses, who says, Greetings again, Traveler. 
Surely you know the rules by now. I'll give you one chance to leave. That's my rule correctly. I'll give you a wish. You get it wrong, and we <laughs> interrupt him mid-sentence, and we command our creatures to attack because riddles just aren't that exciting. I disagree. I think <laughs> riddles are a lot of fun. Like, what are you doing, dude? What even happened? Why? Wait, what, what, what is your, what is your thing? He took a lot of damage from Blight. So, how about we just re-Blight him? He is permanently dead now. That was annoying, but our vivifier should be able to end this. Alright, come on, come on, let's not, let's not tarry too longer. Yeah, we should be able to finish these guys off, hopefully. Well, no, they have Resurrections as well. And because this is a boss fight, yeah, the game isn't going to let us shut down their Resurrections, I don't think. Which is a little annoying, but I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine. I guess we'll grab that and get our. Why were we hunting the stag guide? I guess just to reach S rank with it. Oh, yeah, because it was a new creature and we didn't have knowledge with it. Let's fight this final enemy, this final golem. One thing I've already forgotten, and in fact I should take a picture of it on my phone, is what level of a um, 93%. Let me take a picture with my phone of this 93%. Just so the next time we summon a treasure golem and it has a, a dumpling in the list of enemies that it that you know someone in the group respawns into will have a, some way of getting to the bottom of this. Figuring out what's going on. Now we do have to go back to Seralem before we do our next realm. Which is going to be a fight against in Inpington. Exciting stuff. Uh, where is the exit? Oh, it, it, it was there. It was there. All right. Set back to Surlim. Oh, and we also have to craft. I think it was flesh offering. Yeah. S rank. Nice. Experiment done. Start another. Experiment. Start another hunt. We're gonna sort it by knowledge and I'm just gonna pick somebody who's A rank but who can be taken to S rank. Actually, you know what? Let me do something different. Let me go to Bestiary. Oh, we, can we not do, can, we can't sort it by card owned. Let's just do Agar Apocalypse. I want to do creatures that are A rank and whose card we also have. So let's do, yeah. Unfortunately on this list,
Uh, Abaddon Guard, I think. Uh, we had A rank and we also have its card. Yeah, we can't sort it by card only. Abaddon Guard. Uh, yeah, just to confirm. The yeah, Abaddon Guard, we have the card. Abaddon Guard, we have the card. Alright, uh, craft a gem of uh, flesh offering, right? What was the name of uh, the new one? Oh, hang on. It's a death spell, I believe. Uh, there we go. Flesh offering. Okay, and now let's upgrade flesh offering. And let's... Who are we going to equip it on? Alright. Creatures... Is there a spell gem you have that we never use? We never use Impending Doom. We never use Holy Bulwark. Let's get rid of... That. And let's craft... I'm oh, sorry, let's equip... The, uh, oh yeah, let's also make it a... <coughs> Excuse me, let's also make it generous. So we're gonna have to go to the enchant screen. Uh, where's flesh? There it is. So we're gonna have to... Generous and... You know what, make it a double cast, I guess? Ooh, oh, we can... Um, stat increase seems like a... Good one. And we'll do it, uh, we'll make it a double cast. And let's, I think we have the anointment. Where our, uh, damage with attacks, uh, not spells. We need, uh, the potency of your spells. Didn't we? Oh. Uh, I think we got the option to have an anointment where attacks and spells are based on health. But we opted not to, not to use it. Damn, okay, I'm not gonna... So we've been fighting the Ancestor for a while. What... Uh, we'll figure that out uh, at the end of battle, because it's gonna be hard to uh, sort out right now. However, uh, on our animators specifically, I'm gonna have to go back to the Reliquary to look at this. Because our animatus has Bloodseeker. Oh, let's go to a uh, tune. So, potency of spells should be based on. Yeah, okay. You already have that, right? Instead of intelligence. Okay, so you already have that. It's just that it's not a party wide thing yet. Duly noted. But right, now, let's. Now that. That's taken care of. Oh, we didn't reset the... Uh, oh, I'm such an idiot. We didn't reset the Goblet of Trials and I lost so much... Uh... How long ago was it? I don't even remember when it happened. But we... Uh... Yeah, there's been so much stuff happening in the last few episodes. And... Uh... So much other stuff I've been thinking of on top of that, like this extra experimentation, that just slipped my mind. So we're gonna... There we go, we're gonna lose a bit of progress on this. It's sad, but you know what? Long term, we're, we're gonna be getting lots of, uh, lots and lots of, uh, lots and lots and lots of, uh, Um, 
what am I talking about? Uh, piety. I forgot the name of the resource. Lots and lots of piety regardless. Alright, we're gonna fight Imp, Impington Reborn. We're just gonna go to the Arachnid Nest. Except if we find dumplings, I'm gonna have to update the picture that I took, which shows us our uh, dumpling status. We donated, right? Yes, we did. Alright, we have six enemies and a master, including two nemesis creatures. Alright, what are we dealing with? Dodge chance, extra speed. Dodge chance, extra speed. Now, there's one thing I want to check out. So. For that, I'm gonna have to go to uh, the character screen, and I'm gonna have to look at. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go to battle achievements, and specifically the achievement for reducing maximum health. And what are we at? God, okay, there's all of these. We, was it one of the earlier ones? Here's the attack stat. Deal damage. Decre okay, decrease the health stat. Decrease the health stat, which is different from doing at like damage. Which is different from dealing damage, because we've dealt damage and if you interpret it literally you're reducing the health but i think it means reducing the maximum health permanently which we've also done a little bit off we're at 16.89 million i'm gonna take a picture of that and i'm gonna there's one important thing i want to check 16.89 million um uh, uh, both of these are annoying. But I'll give you more speed, why not? Why the heck not? Uh, you know what, I'll give you that. Uh, it'll make the fight really annoying, but I think we can deal with Imp Impington. So what I want to do is, I want to cast... Uh, flesh offering. On you. Hang on. What? Why didn't that work? Spell blocked by simu- I just want to cast Flesh Offering. So, hang on. Okay. It was prov he was prevented from losing stats by... Okay. This is a little bit annoying. You know what? Let me just... God, and now you, you're. Why are you silenced? Okay. Because the vortex enemies, it seems, are uh, making life very annoying for us. All right. Just out of curiosity, let me go to our list of achievements. Battle achievements. It's still 16.89. We didn't actually make any changes to anybody's health there. Yeah, we'll, we'll start you at the top of the timeline. I don't even care about it that much. I just want to get into a fight that allows us to try the one thing that I want to try. 
Enemies, are, yeah, enemies already had extra speed, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Silenced again. Pieces of actual garbage trash. Pieces of actual garbage trash. Alright, lighted. Snared and a troubling bit of slowdown. Ooh, hey! I was gonna say a tr troubling bit of slowdown. Which it was, but. That, uh. Card find definitely. Raises my spirits. Good. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? You. Interrupt. <laughs> uh, this is the actual worst. Vortexes are the. Oh my god. Oh my god. Spell blocked. This is a. This is. This is unbearable. This is legitimately unbearable. This is genuinely fucking awful. Like, what is go- Just fucking die, you- So vortexes, it seems, are another really fucking awful group of enemies to have your opponents fused with. Oh, one thing I wanted to look at. We found a carbuncle card. Our second one. Oh, hey, this is pretty good. Your creatures deal less damage for each spell they've cast, and I believe it should stack all the way to 90%. So if you're casting a lot of spells, which we are, then uh, it's another way to scale your combat abilities. Alright, let's keep on going. This is gonna be a very annoying floor because I want to test out my spells, but if enemies are gonna be doing this sort of garbage, then, uh, you know, it's not... it's not fun. Even with their dodge chance, I took the risk. I'm like, all we need is one good hit. We killed you. Alright. Alright, and we're getting close to another favor rank with the Regalis as well. Treasure there. Okay, come on. Yeah, you can lose less stats, that's fine. You can deal damage to us over time, that's fine. It's moving because it's a mimic. That's also fine. I was hoping it would uh, it would hit, but it didn't. Nothing in that chest, and these enemies are going to be annoying because, well, they would have started at the top of the timeline, but the fact that they were snared meant it was. Not to be for them. Of course, being salamanders, they're being annoying, but we took care of them in the end. Alright, let's go around, grab all this stuff. Alright, let's, let's keep going. moving because it's another mimic I'm happy to, I'm happy to fight mimics happy to fight mimics all day long especially when you're taking them down quickly all right oh 
Alright, let's open up some more chests and... Is there anything? Well, there could be a chest at the end of that. Is there anything else? There's There could be a chest there and... Other than that, I think we're ready to fight Imp Impington. The reason we're fighting Imp Impington and not the Ancestor yet again is because we had a uh, bounty to kill him. Alright. Where was the, uh, the other one? It was there, alright. Alright, and I don't think we're going to quite be able to reach another favor rank with Regalis. Which is sad, but you know what? It's fine. All right. Now let's go into this fight, which is going to be a bit of a strange fight. But before we go into this strange fight... Again, I want to look at my achievements. Oh, sorry, uh, battles. The, uh... Reduce health achievement. It's still at 16.89. Okay, good. Because I do really want to test something out. He hey ho, you rat bastard! I'm a god now. Yeah, well, at least you're at least you're speaking English now. So that uh, that's that that's nice, I guess. All right. Now he shouldn't be fused with vortexes. No. Okay. Sadly, we are feared. We're gonna have to deal with that. The way we deal with that is with antidote. Gems are not sealed after casting, which is good. So we do another antidote. Jesus, what are you? I was an I wanted to ensnare this guy, but it didn't happen. Let's do entangling roots. But right now we can do well. Ex you're blind. That really sucks. So I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Just do another antidote, I guess. Ebony ant can. Uh, do another antidote. Now the yeah, he froze us. So some we're perma frozen. Why? Why are two of my creatures perma frozen? I mean, hopefully they have a chance of losing that debuff when they get their turn, but that's still annoying. Uh, what I was gonna do with you was, uh, I don't know, man, uh, just untangling roots, make sure he never gets a turn. And it's the head, right? The head kills enemies instantly, so... Oh, okay, that's, that's what's gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen. That's to defend, I guess. Um, feign death. You should be able to. Yeah, let's entangle some more roots. Oh yeah, now our rift dancer is getting a chance to go. What I'm gonna do is. You have Arcane, so I'm going to cast Feign Death on you as well. Raising maximum health quite a bit. And now you still have Arcane, so I'll cast... You know what? I'll cast Feign Death on you too. The Vivifier... Oh, I, I defended when I should have done something else, but that's okay. 
could cast Feign Death again. Um, and in fact, I will. And I'm going to entangle some roots. Okay. Next. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast... Wait. Are you going to be immune to spells? Creatures with warded cannot lose stats. Well, that sucks. Um, who else is warded? Everybody's everybody's warded. That's that. Okay, that's gonna be annoying. Um, I'm gonna start off doing dispel on. Yeah, dispel on uh, on you. And now I should be able to do. Flesh Offering, which I have, okay. Hopefully this works. And now let's look at the battle, oh no no no, I don't want to forfeit, forfeit. now let's look at the battle history. Lost 600,000 max health, and then 445,000, so more than a million max health was lost. However, this was not cast on an enemy, however, it nonetheless is health loss triggered by one of our guys. My question now is, uh, like, is this going to... count as us, you know, losing health on the enemy? Oh, sorry, as us, uh, yeah, like, is it going to count as losing health the same way as if it would have been on an enemy, if that makes sense? No, no, no we can start doing some rabid dementia, I guess. Trying to land some hits. And I really want the uh, the freeze to go away on uh, my dread white, but it might take a while. Is there any sort of damage that we can do? Falling feathers, I think, right? Yeah, let's do some. I guess that didn't really. Uh, That didn't really do much. Um, you have arcane, so I don't know, just do uh, feign death. And now we can start doing I don't know, some fingers of death. Just keep doing this. Now the goal is to just do lots of damage to this guy. Oh, and we should also be ensnaring him as well, which I've been neglecting to do. Yeah, I think I think we should be just fine. Um, let's do double cast rabbit dementia. Ooh, and uh, our dread white is still annoyingly frozen. Otherwise, I would have him cast. I would have him cast feign death as well. 
tangle some roots, please. Yeah, th yeah that is just not going away. That debuff is just not going away. I don't think the extra damage from fatigue is going to help us, because I do think the enemy is going to keep taking that tiny amount of damage. You know what? You will just keep entangling the enemy. Okay, I guess I... I didn't even touch the A key. So, I think the game... Or it might be a. It might. Not the game's fault, it's probably the uh, the laptop's fault. Thinking I pressed something when I hadn't. Or either that or it's gotten very sensitive, like this keypad. Hard to say. And our Dread White has for once not lost his turn. So we can do this. And finally, we're getting our uh, double casts, and finally Imp Impington is dead. Okay. That was a uh, straightforward fight. What's in this chest? Nothing. This chest? Nothing. What's in the... Uh... Well, first of all, we've got to collect a reward. Accumulation is a witch. Hmm. Okay, so let's take accumulation. I think we're also going to get an uh, inscription. Yes. Brethren. Your creature is... Uh, mm, interesting, but feels a little bit too specific. A good amount of reputation with the Life Guild as well. And we are now rank 43 with them. Let's head back. We're going to be so close to getting another favor rank with Regalus, but not quite. Get some treasure from you as well. Ooh, and we uh, get an achievement for collecting a bunch of anointments. And I want to see which one did we just pick up? Or which... No, which... Uh... Class was it from? Rune Knight? No. Uh, not Purgatorian. Sister? No. Um, Defiler? No. Astrologer? No. Uh, where was it? Like, you gain 5% plus, uh, like, speed plus more speed for, uh, how much, however much speed you've gained in the battle. Eternal Legacy? No. Where was it? Defy evil? No. Miracle? No. Shining force? No. Hmm. Oh, Windrunner, actually. It's probably Windrunner, right? Accumulation. But do you have... Ah, uh, okay. So it doesn't have... I see. It's a good one for building up speed, but it doesn't have... similar things for other stats. Maybe we'd have to find a similar thing in uh, some different... Some different classes' anointments. Anyway, that was, that was just a fun little one that might help us for our future uh, achievements. One thing I'm going to do, though, is uh, we're going to... Are we going to summon uh, divination enemies? I think...
think we are. I think we're, we'll do one group of uh, 20. We're still working on haunted golems. So yeah, we'll do one group of 20. Cause, just because, you know, we need, to, we need to do at least a bit of farming every episode. And while we're farming, there's a couple things I need to look up. First of all, let me go to my achievements again. My battle achievements. And we're gonna see, did we get any credit for r reducing the health stat? No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Are you serious? Maybe it'll... I don't know, hang on. Something's not right. Oh, they're gonna die too quickly for us to be able to do any experiments on them. Is anybody alive at the end? Please don't die. Oh, you're miraculously alive. And you have a good amount of health. So I can cast... Uh, flesh... Oh, we can only cast it on our own creatures. Never mind. We can only cast it on our own creatures. Because I'm not being given the option to cast it on uh, anybody else. This is going to be annoying, especially if they will stupidly silence us. Oh my god, yeah. This is, this is... This is going to be a little bit... A little bit... Of a slog, yeah. What? This is going to be a bit of a slog, but we'll, we'll get through it. We'll get through it. I believe that was a purgast that that creature uh, resurrected as. But we didn't get any mana for summoning it. So... In that sense, it does look like we uh, are still seemingly killing haunted golems. Um, where are the dumplings? Oh, no, I need to sort them by race. Where are the dumplings? Where are the dumplings at? I want to see. Are we still at 93? We're still at 93. So if we find another dumpling in uh, these haunted golem transformations, we'll see if uh, that's... If that's a thing, that can be a... Uh... Oh my god. Yep. Vortexes are just awful enemies. Uh, vortexes are just garbage trash enemies. That should probably be banned. Should probably just be exiled from this realm. Just because this is a bit... This is a bit ludicrous. Hope that we can get through these uh, remaining fights without too much of an issue. that I will do oh my god in a battle where we're not silenced is I wanted to check something oh that was another dumpling you, you saw that right top left corner another dumpling and we're gonna get dumpling level experience 
And now we go to our uh, bestiary. And we check whether we No, it's still at 93. So we're not getting proper credit for killing dumplings, which is actually... Might seem weird, but it's actually a good thing. Like, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Yeah, we have no other uh, stat decrease spells other than the one we have right now, but I'll... Nevertheless... Maybe something glitched out in that one battle, and it'll work. Oh my god, what do you... you said... Oh my god, why are you... Why... Why do you exist? Why do you exist? In this battle, we did... Reduce your max health by a lot. We did reduce your max health by a lot. But are we being given credit for it? I, again, I feel like the game is cheating us out of this. We should be getting credit for reducing this max health. We should be. Yeah, I mean, we a hundred percent should be, but we're not. We're not getting it. Oh, we're not getting it. And frankly, I think that is outrageous. So, you know. Why the fuck is that sealed? Like... Why is that sealed? What are you guys doing? You pieces of actual trash. The worst enemies in the game. Ugh. The worst... Uh, yeah, I, I made a mistake summoning enemies in this round because when enemies are fused with there's so many enemies to remember in terms of enemies that are too annoying to fight in a farming session but vortexes now have jumped to the to the top of my list i'm a i'm really not amused at what i'm seeing i'm really not amused but come on let's just Finish this. Hey, well, you know what? This improves my mood. And this answers a lot of my questions. In fact, this answers all of our questions. In case you were wondering as well, yes, you can get the Haunted Golem card from farming Haunted Golems. You are getting credit for killing Haunted Golems and not the creatures that they respawn as, even though there's a bit of a glitch. I don't think you should be getting dumpling level experience just because the Haunted Golem spawned as a dumpling. Not that experience even matters that much, but it just causes confusion, right? Like, it was just... If we were getting non-dumpling levels of experience, then I wouldn't have uh, at all been worried that maybe we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to get the card this way. But because that one thing happened, uh, that really... And you can't blame me, right? It's you would have the same thought as well like like which is it is it a, is it a dumpling or isn't like is it a, a golem or not because one part of the battle results is telling me one thing but a different part is telling me something else and so on and so on but we found the card and we never have to fight these annoying enemies ever again oh look at this they're silencing us, and they have a chance to interrupt our spells. Like, who... Who thought this was okay? This... Is way too excessive in terms of... Annoying factor. Come on. Just... Finish this... Once and for all. 
There we go. Oh, I think that was a oh, no, that was a nugget. You don't nuggets give you a small amount of experience, but they are dumpling class enemies. All right. All right. Now let's finally leave. And again, another long ish episode where we did some more experimentation. And once again, the thing that I wanted to. The thing that, that I was hoping would happen has seemingly not happened. Unless maybe. Maybe these achievements don't update until you're out of the realm. I, I don't think that's gonna be the case. Yeah, decrease the health stat is uh, static right now. There's one last experiment that I want to run. But before that, we've got to get ourselves a new bounty. And what we're going to do is... Uh, hang on a second. There's a... There, there was another spell about losing a large amount of maximum health. It's from uh, the. It's from Shalan's shop. Okay. Hang on. So. I believe Impington also has a spell. Target takes a large amount of damage and loses maximum health equal to 100% of the damage dealt. Okay. That's good. Laser beam. I, I, I want that. But it's not a, an urgent thing right now. I think for now... We will... Uh, try something else. We're just gonna kill the ancestor for the tenth time. Yep. We're gonna do this. And then afterwards we could kill Imp Impington. Anyway, anyway, that's gonna be all we do for that. Alright, now we can head back and do some uh, debriefing. Oops, sorry. So another episode that was kind of partially uh, derailed by me uh, doing some experimentation but these uh, experiments are very important because I'm learning what counts and what doesn't count like the game sometimes isn't clear like things that logically should count aren't counting because you know when stats are being set to a certain amount even though the enemy's stats are being reduced it doesn't count as you were reducing stats because the stat reduction message, I guess, isn't popping up, and only those numbers in those messages are what's increasing your counters. So that was the first thing we learned last episode. This episode we learned that seemingly reducing your own creature's stats doesn't count. It has to be the enemy's stats. At least is what I'm gathering for now. That was another important piece of knowledge. And basically what that has meant is that for those achievements where, you know, reduce health by octillions, it, that, the reduce health, or like reduce stats by one, like one octillion, is going to be very difficult. Like raising stats is going to be easy, like raising health is going to be easy. We just have to get rid of diminishing returns and then like get into a fight with a level 1 creature. Uh, and then just wait like a hundred turns or something. But to reduce the same amount of stats, we're gonna need an enemy that scales. And maybe... I'm hoping we can... Uh, help the enemy along somehow by... Uh, maybe casting spells that increase their health, I don't know. It's gonna be hard because I we're gonna have to find an enemy that gains stats 
to a large enough level so that we can take down like an, an octillion of something in one go or at least in one combat. That's going to be a tricky thing. But that's a problem for the far future. For now, like I said, we're still in this early phase of the game where, where we are just taking down nether bosses and false gods and getting ourselves ready for uh, entering the next phase of the game, but we're not in the next phase yet. We are still right now killing these gods, as these uh, nether bosses, in their third and final forms. Alright, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go to the codex, game information, nether bosses. How many nether bosses do we have left? We just beat Ramses. We don't have many left at all. We just have these three, and this one being the uh, quote-unquote final boss, but not really, because <laughs> because the game isn't going to end. But yes, we are pretty close to wrapping up the space of the game. Exciting times. But yeah, that's going to be all for this episode. It was a good one. We accomplished uh, what we wanted in terms of finding, uh, or like beating the... Uh, the bosses. We also found the Haunted Golem card, which I was very happy, because not only do we not have to farm that one anymore, it was an annoying enemy to fight, but it also settles the question of, yes, you are going to get the Haunted Golem card from killing Haunted Golems, because like it's turning into a different creature. You don't have to worry about the game thinking you're killing that creature inst instead of the Golem. You will get the card if you farm enough. So that definitely was the highlight of this episode. And uh, definitely, definitely gave me a huge amount of relief. But yes, that is going to be all for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you had a good time as well. And I hope you'll join me for the next episode. And until then, take care.